Hey guys, going number one. My name is Ryan with Iowa Classic Cars, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm at the Super 8 in Beersford, South Dakota. Uh, we're heading north. We're going to tour a pretty big public yard. I'm looking to buy six cars today. Uh, I'm not going to show you guys or tell you guys yet what they what they are. It's kind of a surprise, but you guys will see them here um, in the coming minutes. Uh, I want to thank all my members who have subscribed. And without further ado, let's get on the road and let's get to the junkyard. All right, so we're here. Uh, the gentleman that owned the yard said, don't open any hoods or doors, please. So we're going to respect their wishes. 1957 Cadillac, Tudor hardtop. The Autronic Eye is still in place. When me and my buddy Dave came here, I want to say probably three years ago, this car was as is. And it's still here, which is cool. Four-door DeSoto Deluxe. Suicide doors. Really awesome patina to it. So we have some newer stuff in this first row, but then the old stuff is uh, all the way back here. So it's nearly May, and there's still snow on the ground, and it's cold. Got a Ford Custom four-door sedan here. All these vehicles, you know, they're missing parts and whatnot, but they're all fairly solid vehicles. And that's what's nice about coming up to South Dakota, North Dakota, Montana, Wyoming. You just don't get a whole lot of rust. Four-door Chevy Deluxe was turned into a convertible. And the nice thing too about this yard is it's kind of organized. And maybe not 100%. But they keep the 50 stuff together. Some of the 60 stuff, the Chevys and the Fords. More to repair. Here's another 61 bubble top for you, my friend. The doors are still, are still in it, as is the back seat. And there's the grill right there. And that's a rare one because it's a Bel Air two-door hardtop. Five window coupe. We've got a pair of wagons here. Looks like a 55 and a 57. Again with nice patina. A row of 40s vehicles right here. Fifty-five Chevy, four-door sedan. Motor's gone. Transmission still in place. I just don't have enough time today to talk about every single vehicle. And like the owner said, please don't open the hoods or the doors. So I'm just kind of doing a walk by here, just showing the old stuff that is still around. Looks like a 46 Chevy two-door sedan with the accessory uh, guards and fog lights. Old sedan delivery, that's seen better days. And yes, the 59 is still here. This is a 59 Bel Air four-door hardtop, also known as a sports sedan. In Cameo Coral, and the rare thing about it, first of all, it is in Cameo Coral. And second of all, it's a Bel Air Ford hardtop. Not a whole lot of these were made. It was a second part of the year of production for 1959. Seats are still in it. It's got the Bel Air steering wheel. And no Impala dash trim because it's not an Impala. So yeah, this is one I'm Gonna try to make a deal on today. I'm glad it's still here. Got some other early 40s products. Just a big old row of them going back that way. This is a whole nother section of the yard. We'll cover that in a minute. But for now, we're gonna keep walking this way up and down these rows. Looks like a 53 Bel Air with the 235 in line six. A 
original paint, black, 57, with a bucket seat, obviously not original. I want to say this is a 54 Bel Air, either 53 or 54. Bel Air was top of the line from, what, 53 to 50, 57 when the Impala took over. Some more 40s iron. So these guys will sell parts, they'll sell whole cars. I'm not gonna put it out there publicly because I'm sure they don't want a whole lot of lookers coming to look. But if you guys see something here, I can definitely put you in contact with them. Just don't try to buy what I'm trying to buy. 57 Chevy two-door wagon, man, this thing is crazy. Look at the old school paint on that thing. Almost walked right by it. Custom interior. Man, if you guys know about this thing from back in the day, let me know. This is this is cool. I mean, it sucks that it's, you know, this far gone. But man, it's really cool. Old piece of history right there. Fifty-five Bel Air wagon. You know that thing was loaded back in the day. All right, here's another one that we're looking at today. It's a 60 Impala, four-door sedan. It is sunk pretty far in the ground, but really not too bad of a body. There's a spare front clip sitting right next to it. Sitting next to the 60 here. Got a couple of, I want to say 59 Galaxy 500 convertibles. We'll look at these here a little better. I wish these were 59 Chevys, but they wouldn't be here if they were 59 Chevys. I don't want to step on that hood. So yeah, if you guys need a pair of convertibles, here you go. No motors in either one of them. Floors are starting to go, but all the snap trim and stuff is there on this one. This one's missing a little more. Floors are still in it though. All right, this is a, I'm not sure what this is, but this Ontronic eye is wild. I've never seen an eye like that. I don't know if this is a Lincoln. Let me know what this is, you guys. Because that eye is just crazy cool. Got a black suicide door Lincoln. Factory black, missing some parts. But you can't beat a black Lincoln. And sitting next to it, we got a white suicide door Lincoln. The third vehicle we're looking at today is this green 1959 Buick LeSabre. Still as I remember it, the doors have a little bit of rust in them. I don't remember that, but it's all there and it's all complete. Original paint. The hood lip molding is missing, kind of to be expected. But this side of the car is really, really nice and straight. So there's three that we're looking at so far. Got a big Lincoln Town Coupe here, mid 70s. 
Probably something Jimmy Hoffa was last seen in. I think that was a Grand Marquis, actually. Or a, yeah, Mercury Marquis. Over here, we just got some miscellaneous, like a 64 hood, a 58 hood, um, a shoebox Ford. I think that's a shoebox Ford. Uh, old dirt moving equipment right here. Big, big John Deere earth mover. And this, uh, this old coupe here. It's got the old flathead still. It looks like that's an aluminum head, which it is cast forward into it. So maybe it's just a standard thing, but pretty neat. I wish I had more time, honestly, to go through this. An awesome yard. Ford, or uh, yeah, Ford Fairlane, four door right there. Bunch of miscellaneous doors, sheet metal, fenders, 58 grill right there, the egg crate grill. I am missing some vehicles, it's just kind of the nature of the beast. Five window coupe. I want to respect these guys' time. And I don't want to have to hold them here longer than noon. And a lot of these cars are just so complete. I'm not sure what this is. This one's unique. Cadillac. Old school Cadillac. What year is this one, you guys? Let me know, it's an awesome car. Would love to see it saved. 63 or 64, Electra 225 by Buick, factory black, big boats. What is this, and a Buick aero sedan, the torpedo body. And this is an Eldorado, front wheel drive, Cadillac, El Dorado. Steve Maggs just did a video on one of these. Pretty cool. Got some Cadillac sitting right next to it. What's left of a 67 Caprice. Sitting next to a 64 Olds convertible. Actually, and there's a Bonneville convertible right here. Fifty-seven Cadillac, four-door hardtop, with the Tronic Eye still in place. Four-door hardtop Cutlass. Buick Dynaflow, so it's got an automatic in it. I should be covering this side as well. This is a lot of 40 stuff over here. Suicide door cars, coupes, sedans. Yeah, it's just hard to film it all with, with the time I've got. An old Cutlass F85, so it's a mid-sized body. This one had buckets at one time, and they're obviously missing. Here's a three-window coupe. Not sure what year on that. Nineteen sixty-four, the last plate for that old girl. Ford two-door sedan. I think it's a fifty-nine. Fifty-nine or fifty-seven. I always get these two backwards. Got another Ford sitting right next to it and a newer Ford sitting right next to that. All right, here's probably the rarest car I've seen in a long time. And it's a Mercury Colony Park four-door hardtop wagon. The M is still there in the grill. I don't know the production figures on this, but I'm not a GM, or I'm not a Ford guy by any means, but I can respect the 
the Fomoco design in this car. Awesome car. I think that's a Mercury marquee right there. I think that actually is what Jimmy Hoffa was last seen in. I just got done watching The Irishman again for like the 10th time. And I think it's that car. Great movie, by the way. We'll get down to here in a little bit. Man, it's getting awful windy and cold. Here's a 58 Buick wagon, another uh, Ford hardtop. They made more of these than that Mercury, but still a rare one to see. Fairly complete. Dodge Dart convertible right here. All right, what is this, everyone? Does not look like it's domestic. Looks like it's imported. I've got no idea. I've never seen one before. We're kind of in Mopar Row right here. So I probably won't be able to talk a whole lot about these. I do know this Imperial right here is a, <laughs> is a rare beast. And it's got dual wheel cylinders, which is kind of cool. Those big fins, not a whole lot of them were made. Very expensive cars. Sixty-one Dodge Dart Pioneer. I think it's a sixty-one. Sixty or sixty-one. Two of them sitting next to each other. Soto, not something you see every day. Original paint, two tone. Got a Coke bottle charger right here. Not sure what year. Probably 73 or 74 with the big rubber bumpers on it. And a Ranchero, Ford Ranchero, first generation. 55 two-door wagon. I think this is a 65, yeah, 65 Chevy. Big old hood scoop on it, probably a race car at one time. Another Olds convertible, 63 or 64. I think it's a Dynamic or a Delta 88. Pontiac T37. I can't remember what the T37 stood for, so if you guys know, please let me know. I believe this is a 69 Impala Custom. Came with a 307 V8 originally, the base engine. 61 Impala, four-door sedan. Sitting next to a 62 Impala two-door hardtop. Fifty-nine Chevy Biscayne. Not as nice as the one I picked up in Kansas a couple a couple weeks ago, but not too bad. 58 Buick. 
and a 58 Oldsmobile next to each other, both four-door sedans. Uh, I think this is a 56 or 7 Buick. It's the high-end trim, though, because of the four portholes there on the side. The lower model's got three, and the top of the line got four. Pontiac Catalina. Actually sitting next to another one. And sitting next to a 60 Pontiac. We got some more Mopars over here for all you Mopar aficionados. Another big four-door hardtop Buick Century with the four portholes. Sixty-eight Pontiac. I love when they're labeled. Then you don't mess up the years. Fifty-eight Buick, two-door sedan. An old F eighty-five convertible, the small body. Over here we got a sixty-one. Sixty-one Mopar. Probably the ugliest car ever built by any division. Look at that door. Coca Cola Bottling Company. Pontiac Star Chief, Ford or Hardtop DeSoto, Electra 225 Sedan. Got some smaller stuff over here. <clears throat> All right, what is this? Is this a Mercury Metalist? Looks like a Mercury. Here's an early Buick, like early 50s, but top of the line with the with the four portholes. Another Grand Prix Pontiac. Or I'm sorry, I Catalina. Pontiac Catalina. This really Pontiac still has the, uh, the waterfall and the Bakelite emblem. All right, so we're coming up on the fourth car I want to buy here. Not this four-door sedan and not either one of these cars, the 60 Chevy or the 60 Pontiac, but the 60 Buick. And the cool thing about the Buick it's a wagon. And not very many of these cars were made at all. So let's save her so it's bottom of the bottom of the barrel. But it's a really, really cool wagon. So we're gonna try to put a deal together on this one here. Original paint, black, 59 Biscayne. Doors are obviously switched out in the hood. I wonder, no. The trim's all mangled. It'd be nice to get those, because my gold car is needing a pair. I think that's a 68 Impala Fastback. Yeah. <laughs> it 
If you want to be, I'll get you on camera. I just, some people really want to avoid it like the plague, so I wanted to make sure. 1961 or 62 Cadillac, Coupe de Ville. The cat's meow back in the day. Yet another 61 Impala four door. And I'm missing a lot of cars here, you guys. Just not a lot of time left in the day here, unfortunately. Trying to get through everything before, before I close up shop. Try five Pontiac. It's the next to a 57 Chevy. I want to say this is a Pontiac Grand Prix, but I'm not for sure. Yeah, it is. Model J. So let me know if you guys know what that means. What the Model J was. 61 or two Bonneville. Pontiac Bonneville two-door hardtop. And another Olds convertible. All right, we're going to go through the final row here and then hit the other side. A lot of these cars are pretty foreign to me here, so. Fastback Mustang, Mach 1. I'm not sure how you tell if it's real Mach 1 or not, but nonetheless, it's really, really cool that it's sitting here. Yeah, I have a YouTube channel. A and YouTube channel? Yes, sir. Nice. Got a guy pulling a back window here. What uh, What are you working on, if you don't mind me asking? I have a 66 Ford Falcon uh, that you can't find parts for anymore. So. And this is this is a 66? Yeah, this is a, this is a coupe. I, I have a uh, sedan. Um, but, uh, you know, they made... Couple hundred thousand uh, 66 Mustangs, and uh, they made 80 some thousand Falcons. And the Mustang was uh, $88 more expensive than the Falcon in '66, so everybody picked the Mustang. Yep. And they didn't, they didn't get it. Any of the Falcons, they weren't that popular because everybody liked the sporty Mustang. Yeah, yeah. So. And now it's causing you trouble trying to find parts. Oh, my goodness. They're, they're just not out there. <laughs> I hear you, man. Well, hey, good hunting. All right, thank you. This is a neat wagon right here. It's a two-door. I want to say it's a Mercury wagon. Power brakes. Big V8. Very unusual. We got some Hudsons and just a bunch of miscellaneous stuff here. Got some miscellaneous trucks down here in this row. Four-door Galaxy 500s, four-door sedan, air cleaner and engine are still present. Ford Country Squire wagon with the faux wood grain on the side. Another Mercury, big two-door sedan.
two-door ranch wagon with the sliding rear window. I want to say it's like a 69 or 70 Buick right there. Looks a little different than my 68. All right, let's check out the other side of this yard. Just a lot of pickup trucks. old school Ford is pretty cool. Long bed, squared off uh, roof line. Not too bad looking really. I'm gonna do my best here to cover what I can. The time is winding down on me. Chevy fleet line, like a 50, 51 possibly. 63 Chevy, I think this is a Bis, no, it's a Bel Air. Fifty-seven Buick. Four-door hardtop. Sixty-one or two Buick. La Saber. Fifty-six Buick. Super. Four-door hardtop. These cars are really cool. They don't get a whole lot of love, but nonetheless, it's a big old car. Got a 58 Buick right here. This is a 57 Buick Special. And Olds and Buick did the three portholes in 1957, one year only. Two-tone, fairly nice paint, nice patina to it. This is a, uh, what is this, a Buick Special. Sit next to an old school truck. Buick Riviera. Not a whole lot left in this old thing. 58 Chevy. Pontiac of some, some sort. Last tagged in 1960. Ford F-250. Let's go down here, because I think there's a 50 on Olds down here. It's a 62 Bel Air. Nice body on it. A lot of Bondo, though. Yep, here she is. The Oldsmobile Super 88 for 1959. You either love them or you hate them. And 59 Buick is just one that I love. Or 59 Oldsmobile is just one that I love. I love them all except the Pontiacs. The Pontiacs don't do anything for me. 3600 Chevrolet truck. I want to say late 50s. Maybe like 57. We got some newer stuff up here. Late 70s, early 80s. Some 90s with this uh, Suburban. We'll keep walking around here, see what we can find. Got a boat tail rev right there. And like a, I think that's a 57 or 58 DeSoto. That's why people say don't leave the hoods open and doors open because, I mean, obviously the latch is gone, but that hood is ruined now. It's been flopping in the wind. 66 Chevy. 
early to mid 70s Mopar product, I'm not sure. This is a beautiful car up here and I'm glad it's still here. I wanna look at this one too. But it's a 60 Olds Dynamic 88. And it's definitely a parts car. But nonetheless, pretty, pretty dang cool. Pretty dang cool. Does it have a four barrel or a two barrel? Two barrel. I need a four barrel um, breather for one. And I'm still looking. Oh, I missed a 63 Impala right here. I love the patina, but the body on the lower half is just less, to, less than desired. 61 Chevy four-door Bel Air. Missing a rear door. They've gotten quite a bit of rain up here. It's made it kind of treacherous to walk around. Got a couple Bel Airs. This is a 64. And like I talked about in my a couple last videos, 64 is squared off and 63 is pointed at the end. So that's the easiest way to tell them apart if you don't know. Here's a nice 64 as well. Another 60 Olds. Sitting next to a 59 Chevy. For you Ford guys, got an old Ford truck. And a couple Fords right here. Another ranch wagon. Chevy Fleet Line. And what is this to be to finish this off? Old shoebox Ford with the accessory guard. The last one I want to cover over here, other than this 58, and this early Buick Super right here, is a 57 Olds wagon. And this is a Ford or hardtop. And like the Buick version of this, very, very rare. So the fact that it's still here is pretty incredible. All right, this is about the last row I'll be filming today. There's a big old moat here of water. We got some old stuff right here, up and down, both ways. There's an old Buick, or a old Buick, old Cadillac. I'm gonna try to avoid the water a little bit here. Got some Camaros, Corvair mixed in the bunch. Early DeSoto, early Chrysler, big old boats. AMC P Pacer, almost said Pisser. <laughs> AMC Pacer, everyone, not Pisser. Olds Dynamic 88. But sitting next to that is his last car on my list today. It's a 62 Impala. And it's a little rougher than I thought it was. But nonetheless, it's a two-door hardtop. And they're tough to get. The 58 Chevy four-door. Buick Park Avenue. Some early 50 Chevys here. Nothing too spectacular. We have another 61 or 62 Cadillac. This is a Coupe de Ville. Two door hardtop. A shell of its former self. And then sitting next to that in the old, as an old Tornado. And I believe this is a 67, because once again, Steve Maggs covered these cars here like a week ago. And I think he explained, no, I think this is a 66, because of that grill right there above the, uh, the headlight. So you can always learn something at the junkyard, that is for sure. 
there's some stuff down this way. It's a lot of uh, a lot of more kind of boned out pieces here. My camera's about to die, so we'll keep going until it uh, until it blinks at me. There's just so much to take in at the junkyard. There's a gremlin. Gremlin X. I have no idea what that stands for. But if someone does, please let me know. And you know, I'm actually going to finish this out today with this old camper here. 1960 Pontiac Bonneville. That was turned into a camper. And it's truly amazing how I did that. They body worked it. Cut the doors, but left the vent windows intact. Truly an incredible piece. Actually, we'll finish it off with these two cars over here. Actually, three. Old Dodge. An old 59 old Super 88. This one's more complete. And then a 61 or 62 Cadillac. Couple Ford wagons, and uh, then the row of trucks over there, and we're back to the entrance. So, if you guys enjoyed the video today, please make sure to leave a thumbs up. Um, help me with anything that I missed or misspoke about. Let me know the timestamps and what they are, um, what makes the car special, like that Gremlin X. What does that mean? Uh, let me know down below. Pick the favorite car out of this whole bunch. Let me know down below as well what you guys would would want to save out of here. And if you're brand new, make sure to subscribe as I'm always finding old cool junkyards like this. So thank you all for watching. My name is Ryan. You'll probably see more um, content from this yard. If we can get some cars bought, we'll be back up here next week. Um, but with that being said, I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.